it loud and stay it clear. Refugees are welcome here. Say it loud and stay it clear. Refugees are welcome here. What makes America great? Stay united against hate. I said what makes America great? Stay united against hate. In order to create the change that you want to see in the world, you have to be willing to stand up and speak out for it. On Tuesday, February the 16th, the Missouri Muslim community came together and organized a Muslim Lobby Day in Jefferson City. We had hundreds of Muslims from across the state of Missouri, along with interfaith partners and people of all faiths who came together in order to meet our elected officials, discuss issues of concern, and to build bridges of peace and mutual understanding. Tuesday, the Council on American-Islamic Relations will rally at the Capitol to call on lawmakers to address growing Islamophobia, they say. The demonstration also hopes to encourage state legislature, the state lawmakers to welcome Syrian refugees. They say they are calling on lawmakers to welcome Syrian refugees to Missouri and what they say is a growing epidemic of Islamophobia. When you live in a democratic society, the way you make positive changes within that society is by getting active, is by getting involved, is by having your voice being heard. And as American Muslims, we have to be on the front line of social justice and change within our communities. We live in a state that has repeatedly tried to ban Sharia law, the practice of Islam within the state of Missouri. But because of our activism, because of our organizing, we have been able to successfully stop these types of bills from passing the state legislature. Earlier today, I vetoed Senate Bill 267 to invalidate any contract or court decision in Missouri based on foreign laws or foreign legal systems that are, quote, inconsistent with the Missouri or U.S. constitutions. One of our main goals is to build and empower the next generation of American Muslims. We actively encourage schools, youth organizations to come with us to Jefferson City, to the state capitol, in order to learn how our laws pass. How do you influence legislation? How do you build relationships with our elected officials? Our goal is that these young American Muslims will understand their civic duty, so that way they're able to positively transform themselves, their communities, and the entire society that they live in. This year, we held rallies at the state capitol. We met with several of our elected officials in order to talk to them and let them know that these anti-religion, anti-Islam bills that go against the constitution should not be passed. We also met with them in order to encourage them that we as a community want Syrian refugees to come to the state of Missouri to live within our community and that this should be their new home. Islam is freedom, justice, and equality. We are American Muslims and we are part of the society. We share its pain and we join in its joy. Muslim Lobby Day is an amazing opportunity for you to do your civic duty and get active and have your voices heard by the lawmakers. As a community, we are living through a time where Islamophobia is now becoming mainstream, where people running for president are saying that Muslims should wear special ID badges, that they should be blocked from entering in this country, and we live in a state that's actively trying to ban Islamic religious practice within this state. But until we get active, until we get organized, until we go out of our way to have our voices and our concerns heard by those people who make the decisions, we can't complain about the rising Islamophobia. We can't sit around and complain about these troubling trends because we're not actively trying to promote and change those trends. I believe a better world is possible. The only thing that's missing is you to get active, to get involved, and to join us in Lobby Day of next year.